Let's get back on the P38 build for the Eggplane group build, but this time we're gonna start on the painting. I'm gonna start with the interior using Model Air by Vallejo, the interior green. We're gonna paint up the back plate, the bulletproof plate behind the seat, also the seat and the interior. Next up, we're gonna mask off that interior green we sprayed. This way we could spray the black on the instrument panel and also on the anti-glare panel on the front of the airplane. And we'll rub down the edging of the tape, try to prevent any bleed from coming onto the green we already sprayed. Next up, we're gonna start spraying the black. We're gonna use Ammo by MIG Flat Black. I'm gonna put about 10 or 11 drops in here straight out of the bottle. I don't have to thin it down, it sprays very well, but the black does get a lot of tip dry, so be aware of that. And then once I'm done putting this in, I'm just gonna add a couple drops of Flow Improver just to try to get that thing flowing nicely. I do have to pick up some paint retarder just to try to stop that tip tip dry and then I don't have to go back and forth with my toothbrush that I use to take off the tip dry. And when I'm all done, just gonna pop the cap on and we are gonna start spraying. And while we have the black out, we're gonna start hitting everything that's black. So we'll hit the props, and I think just the tires, the only other black thing that we have to paint. Besides the tires, I did forget about the superchargers we have to paint, so we'll paint both of these up in a flat black, and then we'll give them a quick dry brush later on. And finally, we'll hit all the tires up with a flat black, and again, once they're all dry and everything, we'll hit them with a flat coat to make them nice and dead black. Here I'm just hand brushing on Tamiya Khaki for the headrest of the back plate. For the wheels of the plane, I'm using Ammo by MIGS Flat Aluminum. I'm just gonna brush it in. If I hit any of the black, I'll go back and touch it up. There is a little flash on the outer rim of the wheel, so you're gonna have to take care of that. Now that all of the wheels are painted up, I'm gonna brush paint on some Vallejo oily steel onto all of the struts of the wheels. I'm airbrushing Tamiya's flat aluminum on the P38 now. This is my second attempt. I first used Ammo by MIGS flat aluminum, and then once that was dry after 24 hours, I sprayed it with Mr. Super Clear's gloss, and there was a bad reaction between both paints and it bumbled up. So I had to strip it down, and I'm doing a second paint job right now.
Now it's time to pull off all this masking and see what we have underneath, hopefully not a lot of bleed. Unfortunately, some of the flat aluminum got through, but we'll just touch that up. Low pressure, a fine needle, and really close to the subject, and I'm taking care of that green without having to worry about any masking. And where I couldn't get in with the airbrush, we're just gonna do a little hand touch up around the edges of the cockpit. Now that all the paint is done, I've sealed the paint in with Mr. Super Clear Gloss to make sure that when we're doing decaling, we don't lose any of the paint work we already did. Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna hit the superchargers with a little dry brushing. We just used Ammo by MIG Flat Aluminum. Dry brushed the piece and made it look pretty nice. This is my first ever masking job on a canopy. If you can believe that, I've never done an airplane before. So this is actually my third attempt on the canopy. I've masked it with liquid mask and then masking tape and it just didn't come out right. I was getting bleed. So I finally, again, why I didn't think of it, go straight to my Tamiya tape and a sharp edged razor blade and it came out pretty decent. So I'll take it through this with the primer and the painting. After masking everything off, I hit it with Ammo by MIG One Shot, which I've heard is just Steinol Res rebottled, and I'm not a fan of Steinol Res for some reason. I never got it to work right. This is Ammo by MIG Flat Black, just painted it up flat black, and then the last thing I do on it, I'm gonna spray it with Ammo by MIG Super Matte because I wanted the cage to be really, really flat. And it's time to take off the masking on the canopy. Hopefully, I did it well enough where there's no bleed, and I don't need to touch anything up. And with the final piece of masking off, did a pretty good job. No bleed marks, everything looks pretty straight. So pretty happy with my first ever canopy. And that's it for the painting portion of the P38. Next up, decals.